look at uh, futures sure. before we go on to David Barnson. We're down across the board this morning. It's not a huge sell-off, but we're going to be down. Right, David Barnson joins us. Now, David specializes in looking for companies and stocks where the dividend is going to grow. Your first one this morning is J.P. Morgan. Spell it out, please. Well, J.P. Morgan has been the best dividend grower in financials since the financial crisis. And it shouldn't be a big surprise that they were in a position to grow their dividends so much because during the financial crisis, they took on much less water than everyone else did. And while Citigroup and other uh, big banks were selling off their profitable divisions to stay alive, J.P. Morgan was taking on Bear Stearns, Washington Mutual, and other things that they were picking up for pennies on the dollar so they generate free cash flow like no bank in history, and they pay out the dividend quite generously. It's still a 3% yield now. The stock is still down 17% from its early year high, and yet it's up dramatically here in the last couple months. And remember, the only reason the dividend hasn't grown even more is the Fed hasn't let them over the last couple quarters. That's about to change. We like this stock a lot, Stuart. Got it. Now, here's one that I don't know personally. That is Enterprise Product Partners. Who are they and what do they pay and will that payout grow? Would it surprise you to hear that their chairman and former CEO is actually the wealthiest female in America? Um, this is the largest oil and gas pipeline in America. It's a big deal. And like you just said, a lot of people haven't heard of it. I've toured the company's facilities, been on site with them. Uh, it's primarily a natural gas player. They do a lot with natural gas liquids. But they basically are making the pipelines that are able to move oil and gas in our country. And it doesn't really matter what the price of the oil and gas is. It's about the volume that is moving. Back, you recall, when oil went sort of negative, when there was that storage fiasco a few months ago, they have a lot of storage facilities. So it's this company that is not there drilling for oil. It's not a producer. They're moving oil and gas. It's paying an 8.5% yield, <laughs> and they have grown the dividend forever. It's been one of the most faithful dividend uh, growers. The family owns 27% of the stock, so they're taking you know hundreds of millions of dollars of cash flow. Uh, you have alignment with management and shareholders. Um, what else can I tell you, my friend? Yeah, well, eight and a half percent yield. I, that's the sound. I like that. I'll, I'll stop there. But before we leave you, uh, one thing that worries me is about these big companies, which seem to be hewing to the left. Not all of a sudden, but they always have. You call it woke capitalism? Yeah, this, this sort of progressive view that is playing to this idea that the shareholder is not you know, important in the company and that they're there to be a sort of environmental agent instead of generate profits and whatnot. And you know, we had a discussion amongst uh, National Review yesterday, if you're familiar with them, I'm on their board, and National Review Capital Matters, they were saying, should we create an index of these woke capitalist companies. And I said, yeah, it's called the S&P 500. <laughs> I mean, it's like everybody is going this ridiculous direction now. Yeah. And um, the, the fact of the matter is, Stuart, that I don't care if companies talk that way because I think it's, it's hypocrisy. I think it's marketing. And I think that they don't mean it. I care yeah. if they mean it if they're actually putting other things in front of their shareholders and their fiduciary duty to drive profits and drive business. Um, so they all, all of us have an individual responsibility yeah. in society, um, but the notion that they are gonna try to market this with virtue signaling, playing to the far left, it's really quite silly. Luckily, they don't practice what they preach. All these woke folks will be going after these passel of billionaires that we've just created. They'll go right after them. I can see it coming a mile off. David, thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure. See you soon. All thanks, right. Stuart.